Welcome to the Sea Otter Classic. We are here on the ground day one. We are gonna walk around, talk to a lot of brands and see a lot of the new tech that is coming for 2023. All right, we're here with Chris at Gates. They are helping us out in the urban space a lot. It's a very clean drivetrain system, that belt drive. What should people know about this thing? Yeah, we like to say clean, quiet, smooth, strong. The, the belt drive system is, is completely clean. There's really not much maintenance, no lubrication, nothing to get your pants dirty. It's silent, it's strong, it tends to last, in this case, three times longer than a chain in the same kind of conditions. So this bike here is a, a really advanced bike. This is the Stromer ST7, yeah. which has a number of advancements. It's got the electric motor at the rear. It's got a pinion gearbox at the center with some of our lighter weight specific sprockets for pinion drive trains that are combined with a nine spline rear here. It's got a tensioner system on it. So this system is a, is a system that you really just keep riding. You don't have yeah. to worry about maintenance. You don't worry about anything. Perfect. It's got the new smart shift, which is electronic trigger shifting for the pinion system, oh, cool. which is really phenomenal. You just barely touch the button. It shifts. It's clean and smooth, super elegant, really car replacement type of vehicle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. I've been riding a handful of bikes with the gate system. I love how quiet it is. The fact that I don't have to take care of it. And uh, well, my pants stay a little bit cleaner too. Exactly, yeah, we ride them. You know, this is a great urban application. You can also look, we've got mountain bike applications. There's a lot of other things, even electrification of motorcycles. Yeah. These are our belt drive systems on zero motorcycles here that we highlight. So we play in a lot of spaces. Gates is a really progressive and advanced company. And, and we really, really focus on this, this mobility segment. It's one of the fastest, most exciting segments for our business. For sure, awesome. Well, hey, thank you very much. Thank you. We're gonna keep cruising around and see what else is out there, but thanks Enjoy. for your time. Yeah, perfect day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with Andrew, who is with Quadlock, and he's gonna show us some awesome new things to mount your phone on your bike. Go ahead, Andrew. Yeah, hi guys, welcome to day one of Sea Otter. Um, Quadlock, we make a range of case-based mounting systems. This is all set up for motorbike. Um, so fork stem mounts, we have handlebar mounts. Um, probably the most interesting piece of the equipment is the vibration dampener, which will help protect your phone from those low-end vibrations on your bike. Yeah, and that's like awesome because some of the roads we ride on are super bumpy and when your phone, you know, we don't want to break it. Yeah, you the invest, a, gets shaken up you invest a ton of money in your telephone, so you want to make sure you protect that on your bike for sure. Awesome. Well, thank you very much and we appreciate this and we're excited for this to add to one of our bikes. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Well, we are over here at Yakima with Taylor and of course, we all know the struggle. You got a sweet e-bike. What are you going to do with it? How do you take it on vacation with you? Get it around town? Well, there might be some options for us. Taylor, what's, what's going on here? Yeah, so this is the Yakima on-ramp. It is our most versatile e-bike uh, designed rack that we carry. Six, two 66 pound bikes, it will accommodate. Uh, wider wheelbase is up to 52 inches. And then it's just very versatile uh, clamping system. So you can, you uh, as far as um, setting up bikes, you can set them both uh, front tires one way, you know, stagger them. You can kind of really work uh, around the bike's geometry to get them to fit and nest together really quickly and easily. Yeah. Uh, it's also off-road rated for 40 pound bikes as well as RV rated for 40 pound bikes. You got bikes with fenders, uh, fat bikes up to four and a half inches wide, road bikes, kids bikes, it kind of does it all. Yeah. Uh, in, in just a really cool little neat package, folds up really nice for storage. Awesome, sweet, it's rad. Definitely what, something we've been looking for, so. Yeah, absolutely. Cool, thank you. Yeah. All right, I've got Owen with Pinarello here, and he's gonna tell us about their new e-gravel and e-road offering. Absolutely, thanks, Samson. Yeah, like I said, my name's Owen with Pinarello. So excited, 2023 Sea Otter. We have the new Nitro Series bikes. We have both the road and the gravel. This here is our new E5 for 2023. We've partnered with TQ Motor Systems, uh, which is a class three motor system, 28 miles an hour. You have your display here on the top tube. And on the gravel version, it still uses a lot of our same Pinarello technology. So what we call an onda fork, uh, which fights that centrifugal force when you're descending, uh, as well as asymmetric frame. So the right-hand side is different than the left-hand side. Uh, really, really cool, really excited. Around summer, we should start to see these bikes show up in dealers as well. So you can check out your local bike shop. Awesome. Yeah, we're excited to see these on the road because they are awesome looking bikes. Absolutely. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Well, we are here with Mr. Benno himself and Benno Bikes, and he's going to tell us about this new model he's got coming out. Great. Thank you. Um, we have a, a philosophy, you know, a lot of people are now making cargo bikes, and I find that very specific. You know, our big, our big uh, 
vision here is to make um, more regular bikes that can carry cargo. You know, I always say, you know, we don't make cargo bikes, we make bikes that can carry cargo. And so we find that to be more usable and also more long-term, more sustainable from, from, you know, maybe before you have kids, while you have kids, after you have kids. So our bikes are designed to be very modular. And uh, in the meantime, they, they always have to ride good, have to look good and, and be a regular bike, Yeah. you know? And so the 46er is our latest creation, which is virtually the same length as a regular bike. So nobody could say it's a long tail, it's a mid tail, it's a regular length bike. It has a 24 inch rear wheel with a lower center of gravity, you know, with a, uh, with a, with a rear, uh, rear end that can carry up to 135 pounds. It can do a single child seat or a single passenger. You know, with side loaders, wheel guards, it can do the big, uh, the big cargo bags. You know, and um, and the front, the front end is a 26-inch uh, wheel with the front suspension, has an integrated down tube battery, and so what it basically is, it's a cargo rear end with a sporty front end. You know, and I, I like to call it the, the Range Rover Sport. You know, because it's super sporty ride, super fun, but if you have to load it up and everything, you can, and it will do the job. Yeah, this looks like an awesome bike, and it's the best of all the worlds it seems like so thank you for telling us about it thank you all right for your time all right hey guys mark Berger here at the SCAS booth at sea otter want to show you something we're introducing this year it's our new infinity rack it's a brand new for us because we're known as a fender company but we do commuting we do commuting better than anybody else our rack's really cool because it has infinitely adjustable struts and a strap system so you can strap it on on and off real quick comes with the MIK bag, go to the grocery store, get you a favorite six pack, put it in there, boom, and you're out of there. Check it out at SKS. Hey guys, we're at the Redshift booth, checking out some of the new things that they have. Watch the channel, you've seen our reviews on their pedals, maybe a seat post, maybe a stem. This is new, what's going on here? Yeah, so I mean, we came up with the Arclight pedals, uh, you know, a year or so ago and got a lot of great feedback from people. So this is the newest pro version. It's a flat with you know pins in it and you know basically it's a little bit uh, lighter than the other one a little bit more geared towards off-road on-road um, and uh, yeah so it's this is our newest thing it's got the removable lights which go on other parts of the bike if you want to and you know it's smart enough to know which uh, which direction is which so it's always got red light rear white light forward we're always struggling trying to figure a way to get from bike back into the house back into the garage We've got some new tech here Want to let them show it off to see how this thing works. I'm Ram from 12 Speed. So what we're showcasing this time is our new version of our Dormy system. This is the Dormy 2. What it is is a garage door access system for the bikes. So this particular one goes on a stem cap. It can also mount on the front of your flat bars. And what you do is push a button and it opens the garage for you right there. Yeah. And we also have our original one, which goes on in the inside of your bar end and does the same thing, opens the garage door for you. It takes you about 30 seconds to program. It works with about 85% of the system on the market. If you got a garage and you ride, this is something for you. Yeah, way easier than pulling my phone out. I'm into this. Well, that is a wrap on day one of Sea Otter. We saw a lot of cool things and met some cool people. But if there are any brands that you know that are here that you would like to know something about, leave a comment down below and we'll go try to meet them. See you tomorrow.